Yeah, we're good, Jerry Bird. Ha! Ma ha! You ready? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to Skip the Line Media. My name is Mike, and this is Alyssa. And today we're gonna have to do something really exciting. What is that? Be excited, because you know you love it. Tell them what it is. We're doing another monthly Japan candy box opening. Yes, we got our Japan candy box. Is that exciting? Yeah. I know we don't know what's in it, and uh, we kind of want to know. So yeah. we're gonna give you the first look, though, and let you give it a try. All right? We'll give you that first look. Well, I probably should do it from the right side. <laughs> And then, okay, you want to do it this time? You want to do it like uh, that? Yeah. Oh, oh, here you go. Oh, no. Stop. Let's tease them. I like to tease. <laughs> yeah. Yay. There you go. That's exciting. So, we've opened up our box. You saw us do that. Now we've gone through it and we found out we have how many items? We have 10. 10, and how good do they look? They look interesting. Okay, and why they're interesting is because the theme this month is. Sweet, sweet summer fruits. Sweet summer fruits. Yeah. So as you can see, this little dude with a bunch of cool fruits is on here, right? And is we're. Is that an olive? Uh, I think it's a kiwi, but I've never seen anybody drink out of a kiwi. No, maybe it's just a coconut. If you know what that is, it, well, it could be. There are green coconuts. Now, see, you know, we're going off topic, <laughs> but we're dissecting <laughs> this little dude because we haven't done that yet. But so we're gonna get into it, and we're gonna let you know what our first item is. Item number one. Woo! <laughs> item number one. This sweet forest. <laughs> She's already messed up. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want me to say it for you? Yes. Fruit forest mochi candy. I was not too far off. Fruit forest mochi candy. You know what this is? It's a little picnic, but it's candy. So inside there's these uh, gummies or candies that are supposed to taste like mochi, which is like a big brown ball of dough, I believe. Stuffed with fruit. I don't know, they have a bunch well, of I would different assume they have candy. a bunch of different flavors of mochi, but they're really good, I've heard. And so you can eat the basket. Ours is kind of broken. That's, that's too sad but, that it's broken. But we're gonna give it a try. Yes, it should be very tasty, hopefully. So here is what our first item looks like. Yeah. And we it, have a yeah. and what's really cool is it has a little stick. But uh, I think my filthy American self might just use no. it without the stick. I would use the stick, but yeah, see Oh here. no, she broke it! Can I just, like... Yeah, go ahead. Try that first. And then we're each going to try one here, and we'll see what that looks like. So sticking this in here, as you can see, it looks like a frosting, like a frosted glass thing. It's like a stale waffle cone. Well, stale cake cone. You know? That's what it's like. You hey, want to try yeah. a yellow one? Oh, I kind of like what, is, what flavor is it? I don't know. I'm eating it. Yeah, it's okay. Mm, oh, no. That's good. That is good. It is, um, I think I could eat the rest of this. But it's really just fruit gummies. I think they have a fascination with gummies in Japan, I think is what we've learned with some of these items. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, so that was not bad. It's like, um, it tastes like gum. Tastes like gum. I'll say, yeah, it hits you a little bit after. Um, no more. No, the thing, I really don't enjoy the, the basket. You Maybe know? it's because like it's been shipped, so it's like sat there for a little bit, but it tastes like a stale waffle cone Let's or a stale that. cake cone, and it's like not enjoyable. Flavor. Oh no! <laughs> it's not an no. enjoyable. I mean, it's like eating a wet bag, yeah. a wet brown bag, <laughs> yeah. with no flavor. Yeah. So yeah, I would say I'm a hard pass on the basket. A definite yes on the uh, the, the fruits. Mm -hmm. okay. Item number two. This one's on mine. I picked this one out. And this is the Yolk and Strawberry Roll Candy. It is their version of the Fruit by the Foot. Mm -hmm. It says that it's a whopping 50 centimeters long and has 60% fruit, real fruit juice and fruit that makes it a nice, sweet, and tasty treat. Yep. So we're going to rock this and see what it's all about. Should Let's be good. This up. I bet it's, I wonder, it, they call it fruit, what do they call it? Is it fruit by the It's fruit meter? roll up, but. Is it fruit, fruit by the meter over there? I don't know. It's strawberry roll candy. It's not fruit by the meter. It's, it's nothing. We'll let you see us roll it out. See how that it's looks? It's a fruit roll, roll up. It is, it is what it is. It's a fruit roll. But I'll tell you right it's now. It's a lot thinner and If this puffier. was Smell-O-Vision though, it smells good. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but it's a lot puffier. Like, it's a lot jellier. Yeah. Little, I'm gonna, gonna... I'm gonna watch you. Let's see them. Ew! Okay, you're eating <laughs> the sound that. effects are awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oh, no, we're gonna give this a rip. Together. Let's give this a rip. 
Mine's a ball, but I like to eat mm. mine in a ball. Mm -hmm. You know, I forgot how good a fruit roll up is. And this one right here, that's good. I love strawberry, so for me, this is like a home run. I think it's way better than the the wet paper bag. Uh, I have to say, yeah. it's good, but the texture throws me off a bit. I, it's not that I mind it. Our fruit roll ups, are, that one has like a rubbery weird. It's not that I don't mind it, I do like it. I just think I'd prefer the texture of our fruit roll ups more. It's That's because you're used to them. It, yeah, I know. But I'm gonna eat that, I'm gonna eat it with pride. Did you like that one? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Yeah. I'm two thumbs up, she's weird. Okay. Next. Thank you. Next. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, this is item number three, which is the puree green and gold kiwi gummies. Um, these have real kiwi juice from green and gold kiwis, and they're slightly sour, but mostly sweet, and have vitamin C and collagen in them. Collagen, isn't that like fat? I don't know. My Collagen is what my face masks have in them. So I can rub this on my face? No. I'm gonna try it after this video. If you wanna see that video, it'll be totally different. No. Why I rub Japanese candies on my face. That's <laughs> on a different site. Hey, it, it's funny though. Oh, there's oh, different shapes. Oh, let him see inside there, yeah. So, no. Oh, you get to see. I haven't even seen him. See, you got to see him before I did. So you want the heart? <gasps> oh, I mean, uh, the star? I want the heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a different idea of what a this heart is. This is a star, and then I will have the heart. All right, let's do this. Wait, hold on. Here's the little heart. They're like half gold, half green cube. Is that ready? All right, let's do this. But those were good. Um, those, <laughs> those were... Very tasty. I'm going to have to say, we said they have a gummy obsession. But they make some but darn good gummies. Their gummy game is on point. Because that fruit roll up and now that, I, I'm, I'm thinking that. It was really good. I, I love kiwis. But it tasted almost like a strawberry. It did, but that's because we had that strong strawberry. But, but I did a palate cleanser. And so did I. So I think that but maybe. But it was, it was really, really good. And the shapes are nice. It, it, did, it was a little bit sour at first, but. But it, it was really it's good. Really and I think this right here. Is the favorite so far. I would say second to my strawberry because I love strawberry. That's the favorite. Whatever. So. Don't care. <laughs> yep. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I didn't see. Two thumbs up! She's making my thumb up, <laughs> but it really hurts me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> item number four, and it's this item here. I'll show it right here. It is salty lemon kakipi rice crackers and peanuts. It's a uh, soy sauce coated rice cracker that um, looks like seeds and uh, peanuts and it is a fresh taste of summer blend is what it says. But it's soy sauce covered. Made with satuchi lemons from Hiroshima. Hiroshima. She says Hiroshima, I say Hiroshima, we looked How it up it? and it said both ways so <laughs> therefore if you want to fight us on this we're just going to give you both and then you can live with it. Right? Yeah. No I think that's it. I think that's <laughs> I think that's where we're at with that. So, but we will open these if we can, like a this man. This is not going to be the most enjoyable experience. I don't like soy sauce that much or peanuts. I actually think peanuts are the most disgusting thing ever, other than pickles. So, this is going to be fun. Yes. And here's what it looks like on the inside. I don't even know what it looks like. Nope, she does not. So Ew! It looks like peanuts. Grab one of each. Grab that. No. And grab the nut. That's something that's totally inappropriate to say. <laughs> oh my god. We just lost our ratings on. Sorry, I could do something with these and make oh. it look even worse. Yeah. Um, we're going to eat one of these. One, and what are these supposed to look like? This supposed to be look like a rice? rice or beans or seeds? It's supposed, like it's seeds. supposed to look like a seed and that's supposed to look like I'm not, a peanut. I'm only going to eat half of my peanut. Because, like, bear with me. Mm. Oh. Um, I don't taste the. Um, lemon? The refreshing lemon. What's wrong? What's wrong, Alyssa? The peanut overpowers the whole thing. Oh, wow, I got the lemon. I got that lemon. It's on one of these. You have to keep eating it. I think maybe it might be on, oh, this one might have it. This looks like it has a lemon in it. Give it a rip. Like suck on it a second. You'll get that lemon. Oh. Yeah, the lemon's there. See these? 
The blue yes. rice is aren't bad, but the peanuts just totally ruin it. That's because I don't like peanuts. I'm gonna say that. Okay, the salty lemon uh, kakipi rice crackers and uh, peanuts. I'm gonna say oh. I don't mind them, but I wouldn't say so far. I would say they are the my worst. least They're favorite. The worst. Oh. Now that being said, this is a savory snack, and this is a Japan candy box. So your expectations of getting all candy can be a little bit, you know, down. This is, this, you know, I just noticed this smell like cigarettes. Like stale cigarettes. Anyways, they do. Huh? I don't like that. This smell. That yeah. These are. I'm gonna smell give. Smells like that one chair we have in our house. I'm gonna give it this right here. I'm gonna give. You're give two down that. because I don't mind eating them at the time. But that. It. I don't. I think it two thumbs down. It would be both thumbs down if I didn't enjoy the the lemon pop at that moment. So. I'm giving it two thumbs down because um it, the peanuts. You're it just, just ruins. It just ruins it. The whole thing. So, not a favorite. Nope. There we go. Kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, the next item, item number five, I believe, which is my item yet again. And this would be Ginbis Ginza Rusk White Vanilla. Rusk are hard, dry biscuits or twice baked bread and are usually sweet in Japan. These Ginbis Rusk biscuits have creamy vanilla aroma, com complemented with a satisfyingly bold crunch. I can't read right. Crunch? All right. All right, so. We're she's, ready to open this. She's got it open. Let's see what's going on. So as you can see, so, it comes in a nice little yes, foil pack. It's very pack. cute. It has like, it has milk and looks like some sort of flowers. I'm not smart enough to know what they are. Oh, I look at this. I know, I told you. It opens on the side. The Japanese are so much better with their packaging. Their packaging game is like It's great. like amazing. There's like little words. We can't read them. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I bet you're so profound and it probably says eat more biscuits. Like, <laughs> it reminds me of my American Eagle jeans and how they have words on the inside of them. <laughs> there you go. So let's open that up. Let's give it a taste. Which side do I open? Doesn't matter, I think. I think it's right. This is the right side. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. I have no clue. I care. All right. Here's we go. That's what it looks yeah. like. So let's see what it's... Grab one out of there. I want you to eat first so that... Because oh, I've been like... Sick. Being froggy on this later. What is? It looks like it's supposed to be a shape, you know, like the chicken noodle soup, but it doesn't this, have. You know what this reminds me of? It looks like a uh, toast or, or uh, bread when before you fridge toast it. Huh? Uh, like it's Texas like egg toast. Wash. Like this is egg wash. But egg wash. Texas so toast. So we're gonna give it a try. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, okay. That's the best. That. Is smooth. That yeah, it is the best one. The crunch is right, mm. but it gives so nicely and has this smooth vanilla flavor. It's so good. I'm gonna allow eating one more okay. on the camera because we like it so much. Mm -hmm. And it's hard, you know. Those other ones taste so good. Those gummies. I mean, those kiwi gummies. Ah, oh, oh. But this, this is. Oh. This appeases <laughs> our American palate. This is like. <laughs> A guilty pleasure, mm. and I gotta put it away, or we won't eat stop. It off. <laughs> we will not stop. It's, I mean, it's weird because I don't like milk, but you taste the milk a lot in that. You do. I, it, it, I don't it, drink milk. I don't drink anything milk related, but that tastes that good. That is good. So we know it has a smooth crunch. It's great. What do we give it? Obviously, I give this one. if I had more thumbs, I yeah. <laughs> That's it. Is that the new sign? Woo! Winner, winner, winner. Yeah. I did winner in a weird way. You know, usually people go like this, but yeah. like that. So, yeah, that winner. That was really good. That was money. All right, item number six. We're excited, and I got the weird looking one. It looks like drugs, as he said first. Um, so why don't you hold that while I read the description? It looks like there's little names underneath them, but we can't read them, which kind of yeah. makes me sad. It is fortune telling strawberry milk candies. That's These strawberry bad. milk candies will tell your fortune. Each piece represents an area of your life. Pop one out to reveal a double circle. Great, a single circle, good, a triangle, so-so, or an X. Bad. So, we are going to tell our fortunes on the camera. But we can't read what area of our life it is. How do... Yeah, this is kind of find the fortune from our blog. 
find a tutorial from our blog. So I have to go on and look at their blog to find that tutorial. So, quick little cut. So we just took a moment to try and research what all this means and I'll be honest with you. We don't know. We failed. We took a long moment. I mean, I even tried Google Translate. I tried to find it. I looked all over the internet. To be fair, I bet if you and I had a little more time and we're just totally digging our feet into this and nails into this, we'd probably get there. But we didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out whether we're good or bad or so-so or whatever it is with whatever it is. And hopefully it's nothing crazy. Bad. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it says my love life is... Good. Which one do you want? So pick one. Point at it. Um, uh, I don't know. I kind of want this one. That one? All right. Let's. Maybe pop we it. can look it up later. Pop it out of there. Wait, oh, there it went. Where does it say? How do we know what the? Oh no, it's bad. See, look, there's an X. Oh, there's an X. Is that what that means? Yeah. X is bad. So whatever that is, whatever she's eating, her her fortune is bad. We should look that up. Now. I, we will look it up later, and maybe we'll Instagram that. That would be something to look at our Instagram, at Skip the Live Media. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one. So we'll see what my fortune is. Double circle. Good. What's that? Yes, I'm good. And that's what it is. How's it taste? Tell them what's going on in your mouth. I don't know. It reminds me of something I've tasted before, but it's like a Whopper, but... It's like a hollow... Um, it's like an M&M where they forgot to put the stuff in it. No, yeah. it was creamy on the inside. Yeah, it was weird. Um, not bad. I don't enjoy it because it's milk. Ah, no, 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 no. Tasty to me. I liked it. I wouldn't say that it was great. I would say it was more of a not full on thumb up. But like, yeah, good. Yeah, like that right there. So that's where we're at with it. Hopefully, well, we'll see what we got later. We will try and post the fortunes on the Insta. Yeah, I want to know what my bad fortune was. Yeah, I'm not going to go through them all because that's guaranteed to give me a bad one. Now I think i got to quit while I'm on top. I already got a bad one. I need to keep building. She needs to do another one. So, <laughs> we're done with this one. Yes. All right. This is number seven. I thought you just went like this. Seven? <laughs> no. Number seven. This is item number seven. And here it is. I'll and throw it up here. And this is the Yalkin brand. Yeah, yet again. It is the Long Chew Taffy Looking Candy. Looking at you. Well, the Long Chew Grape Taffy. And it is says, this Long Chewy Candy will have your mouth watering with its full and sweet grape taste. Chew the stick yourself or share it with a friend on a nice summer day. Sweet. So why This you, is a nice summer day, but we're not outside. Do you want to rip into this one? So let's yeah. see how refreshing this is. is we're this gonna a, share it. Is this another chewy gummy candy? Yeah. This is It's Japan's like a laffy version. taffy, but um like Japan. Yeah. <laughs> let's rip it up. But uh, well of course it's gonna be like their forte because this is a candy box. So we're gonna get their candy oh, and they have a oh, lot oh. of I don't need that much of it. Oh, I okay. do. Okay. You're gonna don't let me let me just let me uh, pull my piece off of it. Oh, I can't. You're gonna have we're gonna have to fight. Oh no, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. So this is what it looks like up close. I'll just give you guys a nice look. Oh. look there. And then uh, we'll go with that. Ooh. And we'll give it. It smells like fake grape. First impression, just to let you know, because we usually cut while we're chewing, is hard. So give us a minute. <laughs> It'll be like a second to you, but. So, um, after chewing that one, like I told you on the first thoughts, it was a little hard. Um, not bad. The grape flavor, I wouldn't say, uh, blew me away like the other gummy snacks they've no. had and things. It definitely tasted like fake grape, which I expected, but it tasted like that fake medicine grape. Oh, that's what you got out of that? That's what mm. I got out of it. No one likes to take fake medicine no. grape. <laughs> but it, it wasn't as bad as fake medicine grape, yeah. but it had hints of but it. But isn't that refreshing when you're sick, though? No. Like, because you know you need it, and so you're like, oh. So no, I, I know I it. need it, but it's so disgusting. I don't Whatever. want it. <laughs> I guess there's never a situation where you like that. But um, I'm going to go with um, slightly... Like three quarters? Yeah, I'm not too... No, definitely not both hands. We're talking like... Yeah, it's just like the last one, really. Not great. Eh, not bad either. But I mean, it definitely wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't the worst. I could live, with it, live without it. Yeah. So, moving on. All right, we're back with item number... Ocho! Ocho. <laughs> you said that just like I did! We didn't plan that! We didn't that. plan that! <laughs> 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 That's so funny. So, 
Oh yeah, so I got a, uh, you know, we did, wait, we did play on that. All right, so uh, Gilco Pretz Extra Crisp Basil and Olive Biscuit Sticks. Um, these special edition pretz are extra crispy and have deliciously fragrant taste. Every bite is a sensation of basil and olive flavors that will have you reaching for the next stick. Now, I love basil, but we, hate we both don't really like the olives. Our whole family, like, this family, we don't like olives. We We're not an olive the family. The last time I ate olives was probably four or five years ago, because I just don't enjoy it. But this isn't like straight olives, so no, we'll see. No, but it will have the olive flavor. But I just want to say the packaging on this is so dope. If you just packaging. press this thing here, and then you and then you pull this up here, you, and then it's like, oh, it just, Japan they make packaging. it so easy. They just do everything better <laughs> with their packaging wise. Yeah, and these are so easy to open, so I'm not, I don't even think I need to cut this. A lot of the things are easy to open, but not some of them. I struggle. So this is what they look like inside there little tinky tinky sticks so I want to give you one I mean how about we split them in half They're no we're eating the whole stick we're going whole stick I'm not see, eating this whole thing see how thin that is look at that it's like a thin pocky Whoa. speaking of which I'm kind of sad we didn't have pocky I want my strawberry or banana pocky I love pocky I guess they know everybody loves that so <coughs> oh god you, you know Ooh, ooh, that's got a fragrance yeah it's got a fragrance all right, so you ready for this one? Cheers. Cheers. Uh, oh, smells worse than taste. Things kind of gone in a sec. Never mind. It comes back. I would say the flavor comes back. They're very crunchy, very thin. These are not going to be a filling snack, but I'd say. Well, how many are in there? Oh, uh, there's like 40 little sticks. I mean, it's like, see that? Look at that. I mean, that's like, uh, that's like a bunch of them in there. So it's not like, um, I don't mind it. It tastes a lot basil to me. Oh, yeah. Not much of the olive. I don't. I got mainly basil, but there's also like, okay, it, it, it comes at you twice. So first you get the first punch, the flavor goes away, but then it comes back and it the tastes worse. The aftertaste is not as good mm -mm. as the first taste of it, which... Eh, I don't hate this one. Like, what was the one we hated the most? The peanuts and... Yeah, fries. yeah. I actually didn't hate, hate those, but... I think they're on the same level for me. I would agree with that. I'd be, it's like this right here. Yeah, but like... Actually, I would even go like... Actually, this is worse than those for me. This is this. For me, they're on the same level, this is, you this, know? It's this, this, this. What is... Oh. That's in the Kill This Love. Kill This Love. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can throw that in here. Oh, you're right, but don't they like uh, the K-pop? Yeah, they do like I that I bet that's song. on their charts, Yeah. so we can throw it in there. But yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay, right. anyway, you must. That's two thumbs down for me. Two thumbs down. I kind of want to eat another different candy to palate cleanse it out. This is item number nine. Nueve. Numero nueve. Numero nueve. And here we go. This is what it looks like, and she's going to give you the description. So this is the Kabaya Fruit Can Gummies, a gummy can can. So enjoy the taste of sweet and slightly sour Japanese clementines, known as mikan. Peel open the cute can packaging's lid to discover the soft and juicy gummies within. That sounds kind Good. of tasty. So why don't you open that in front of that little camera so that they can see what it looks like as you peel that open. I haven't even seen him yet, neither of you really. Does it fragrant? Pull it up here. Let's take a smell. Oh, I want smell-o-vision, not television. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little rough. That's well, no, it's it, actually it just tastes like you know when you get oranges and they're just very strong in your face. No, that does not taste like good orange. So this is what they look like up close and personal. A little gummy. But when you only smell one, it sounds bad because you can't smell it as much. So yeah, that, it's really cute. Really gummy. You ready? Mm. This is a harder gummy. I don't think it's a hard gummy. I think it was soft enough. It's not hard like like a dot or some other weird thing that I wouldn't But eat. it's harder than what we've been doing. These are harder. Yeah, the thing I've noticed with Japanese gummies, it tend to be, I don't know, that first thing we ate, the little basket thing, was a little harder. <laughs> but most of the gummies you eat in Japan, like especially last month it was with the Pretty Cure girls, Yeah. those were very soft. And uh, these aren't nice, quite soft. But I think it's because these are like some sort of specialty 
fruit item thing. But I'll say they don't have much flavor. No, not crazy flavor, but I'm going to put I could put eat them. They were, I think it's like that. Like it was good, but I not outstanding. It. I could eat these. If I were at work and I had mean, nothing yeah. better to do, I could eat the whole thing. I mean, yeah, I could eat them, but it's not like it was memorable and I would have to get it. I wouldn't get it over other things. I think I remember eating them. Just because I'd wonder, what was that Japanese snack I ate? Yeah, but if I was in Japan, like, <laughs> I, know. I would be like, huh, did I eat those or fruit yeah. smiles? <laughs> you got that right. So, <laughs> that one is put to bed. It's like meh. All right, we're back and we're on our final item. It is item number 10. And as always is a tradition with us, we always hold bubble gum to the last because we, we find it weird it. <laughs> to chew bubble gum and then spit it out so you can start tasting other things. So we figure we will throw bubble gum at ourselves and just chew it out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just let it rock. We generally enjoy the bubble gums because it's not hard to get bubble gum right. Oh, um, you mean wrong. I mean, yeah. yeah I'll say, <laughs> if it's hard to get it right, yeah, it's not hard to get right, then... Uh, it's not hard to get it wrong, so, um... Or no. It's not hard to get it right, right see? Yes. I said it right! <laughs> Mess with her. So, um, she's going to show you that right there while I give you the brief description of what's going on there. Boom. All right, it is Murakawa, Marukawa, Marukawa Crushed Ice Cola Bubble Gum by Dagashi. Instantly cool off with this ice cola flavored gum from Murakawa. Each stick is a rush of crisp, cool flavor with crunchy ice bits inside. I feel like I should do an ASMR with that. This should be very good, because as you know, we like our cola. We love our cola, as you've probably seen sometimes on we our We have a cola and a water right next to us. Depending on how we want to cleanse our palate, because cola, I think, is an aggressive palate cleanser. Ooh, how do how we do, do this? We, yeah, I was thinking, how yeah, do we how do, do, we do this? this? I mean, we're going to each going to grab I one of them. smell it. It smells like bottle pops or a bottle, you know? The, bottle, the bottle caps. That smells like that bottle caps. cola, like it's been dipped in. I'll grab this one and I will we'll break it off like that mm. so you can see how it looks when we do that. It's like powdery. So you see that? That's what it looks like. It, it's cool. like the cho it's like the pistachio thing yeah. from the Israeli box, like, but it's not like crunchy. All right, it's in the mouth. Oh, what? Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm, what? At first. It doesn't feel like it's bubble gum. It feels like sandy, kind of grainy. Yeah. Now, how many people love grainy? But you find out it's not grainy. I think that's just whatever the flavor crystals are, that powderiness. And then just. And it's a rush of like cola flavor. What? But kind of soapy. Wait a second. She's got a thought. That's rare, so it's okay. <laughs> You know that gum we had in the first one, the one that had like the martini flavor? Oh, that was so good. The Kirby gum. It tastes like this. So here's where I'm at with this. It's good. I'm here. Eh. Yeah, it's good. I definitely chew this again, but it, I could have it in another different packaging in little balls because it's right. the same flavor. Okay, so there we go. That's our thoughts on this gum. Japan candy box number two. So, we just got done with all the items, so we're gonna do some final thoughts. What do you got? I have a question. Did you like this one more than the last one? Uh, what was the last one? It was Characters Edition. Oh, 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 you mean the Japan candy yeah. box. I like this one uh, better. I say I do, because I don't remember. My favorite what? item between both of them is in this one. Really? Okay. Here's and you thing. know what it is. Yeah. And you're going to look at it until I don't let you have it. <laughs> okay, so I do have to agree. This has been my favorite item out of all of the boxes. This has to be the one that tastes the Out of every box. And I'm saying we if you watch our other Universal videos, Yum, Universal Yums. This adds to favorite out of every box we've got. However, I do have to say the one, the pudding one from the last one, the koala, the panda pudding. Yeah. That was... Um, wait, very it, similar. Wait, no, no, the koala pudding. It was amazing. Very similar in the very smooth. very similar, but it was very good. But that bread, whatever that is, that's... Uh, I'm just going to say that's our favorite. And obviously our least favorite, I, I think, is a tie between the savory snacks. Which is weird because I like savory snacks and I didn't mind the corn in the last yeah, one. Yeah, so. I didn't... I thought the, one, the corn in the last one was good, but... It, it, was, it was in your face, but it was corn. Uh, it was... And <laughs> also, those, I would note 
too much about corn. Yeah, <laughs> Iowans no corn. No, that that those uh, the olive crisps were not not good, not tasty <laughs> as much. Um, the I didn't mind the rice and peanut thing. I hated it. So to me, I didn't mind it. I thought the olive crisps were worse. Uh, the rice was okay. The peanuts made it. So there you go. So it was like a half and half for her. The other one just was straight. No. Mm. Uh, um, I'll have to say my middle of the road item would be either the mochi, this one. That's very middle of the road. Or the orange gummies. Those are very middle of the road. And I would have to say second place firmly goes to me. It's for you, it's that. It's the, this the is kiwis. my second place. I've been eating these. I guess I could tie that with the strawberry fruit roll up. Uh, I've been uh, you know. eating these in between our cuts. Yeah, yeah. They're she really can't, good. She can't eat. But the strawberry fruit roll up to me, or fruit by the foot, or centimeter over there, because it's 50 centimeters. Are you messing? She's playing with you my have hair. A, you have like a really long gray hair that was bothering me because I was I like it. She's gonna groom me. Now go pick through it like a monkey and eat all my bugs out. Yes, there you go, there you go. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I, I like that. So to me, pretty much, I think we know the vanilla bread at home run, the uh, olive sticks. Disgusting. And then uh, the second best thing, probably fruit roll up to the Kiwi. thing there. And that's about it. Everything else was kind of mm -hmm. meh. But it was good. But it was great. Some so, things reminded me of stuff in our last box. So maybe that's yeah. just the flavor profiles they enjoy. So that was uh, that was June 2019, Japan wow. Candy Box, and we're putting that to bed. It's June already. Yeah, this is June 3rd when we're filming this, so that'll let you know how long it takes me to get it out. <laughs> probably shouldn't have said that. But yeah, so what we want to ask you to do now is... Subscribe. And... Like. And like, and then hit that little... Notifications. Hit the little bell, do the notifications, and like I keep saying, at comment. Skip the Line Media, at Instagram, and then comment. Say the bad stuff, say the good stuff, we like it all. Like the facts of life, we take the good, take the bad, take it all, and there you have it. The facts of life. Yeah. Have you ever seen that show? No. Oh, okay. So anyways, <laughs> we loved it. We hope you loved it and enjoyed.